tingly spring morning on the island of Sodor. Thomas was excited. The Fat Controller had sent him to pick up a new special from Jenny Packard. Miss Jenny ran the yard, where all the diggers, cranes and trucks on Sodor lived. At the yard, Jack was waiting for Thomas. I'm Jack the front loader, he whirred proudly. I can load and unload and carry lots of things. I can haul and shunt, boasted Thomas. <coughs> Thomas and Jack set off for the quarry. Is this your first job at the quarry? called Thomas. It's my first job on the island, Jack called back. I can't wait to get to work. <laughs> At the quarry, the pack was working hard. Jack wanted to say hello to everyone, but they were all too busy to stop and talk. He scooted toward Oliver, the big excavator. I'm Jack. Can I help? He asked. Oh no, Oliver replied. Help Byron. Byron the bulldozer was shoving rock and rubble with his giant blade. I'm Jack, can I help? asked Jack. I don't need help, boomed Byron busily. Try Kelly the Crane. I'm Jack, Jack word, rushing up to Kelly the Crane. Watch out for my paint, snapped a car. You should look where you're going. Isabella, scolded Kelly. Sorry, said Isabella sourly. But it's too busy here for rushing and pushing. The quarry can be dangerous, Kelly told Jack. Safety first. Why don't you go and help Alfie? I'm sorry, said Jack. I'll try to be more careful. Jack found Alfie the excavator digging a big hole. I'm Jack, he said. Can I help you with your work? Alfie gave him a big smile. More help means more dirt. More dirt means more fun. I'm Alfie, he replied. Jack and Alfie were soon working hard and having lots of fun. But Jack was worried that the other machines didn't like him. He wished he could really be part of the pack. The next day, Thomas chuffed along the branch line, thinking about his new friend Jack. Thomas couldn't wait to get to the old quarry bridge. He knew the pack was working there. He could see how Jack was doing. I hope he's settling in, puffed Thomas. <coughs> At the bridge, Jack and Alfie were loading the dump truck Monty. Dust and dirt were flying everywhere. Work had never been such fun. Jack felt very proud. He had tried hard and been very careful. He hoped the pack would see what a good worker he was and Miss Jenny would let him stay. Later that day, Ned the steam shovel was moving under the bridge. I must be careful that my crane arm doesn't hit the bridge, he said to himself. But Ned hadn't lowered his tall crane arm far enough. It knocked loose the important keystones from the top of the bridge. The bridge started to crumble, just as Thomas puffed toward it, unaware of the danger ahead. Jack saw the danger. Thomas! he shouted. Jack jumped in and lifted his front loader up to the bridge. He pushed with all his might. Thomas saw the flagman and his driver applied the brakes, but they couldn't stop in time. Cinders and ashes, cried Thomas. The stones were very heavy, but Jack didn't let go. Thomas crossed the bridge safely and whooshed to a halt. Hold on, Jack, called Kelly, and he rushed to help. But Jack couldn't hold on any longer. 
the bridge came tumbling down. Are you all right, Jack? asked Kelly. I think so, he replied, but his arms were badly bent. Thomas took Jack back to the yard. Jack was afraid that Miss Jenny would be cross with him. He had jumped in without thinking about safety and damaged his arms. But Miss Jenny was pleased. Well done, Jack, she said. You go off to the fitters tomorrow. The pack can't have a front loader with bent arms. You mean I can stay? Word Jack. You're part of the crew, Miss Jenny grinned. Welcome to the pack, Jack, shouted Alfie. Kelly and Isabella cheered. Jack was so happy he couldn't think of anything to say. So he just revved his engine and bounced his bucket. Thomas was very pleased that his friend could stay. Welcome to the pack, Jack, he whistled. Peep, peep. The end.